What's up, fans? It's Coleman69, a.k.a. Colin Manford, born on June 9th. I don't know why you guys are getting my name all twisted. I'm actually from Fultondale, represent. I got my boy Keith here, uh, actually checked out from Fultondale Public Library, a camera. He's going to document me going down to Birmingham. Why am I going down to Birmingham? Because AL.com got jealous of me because I'm the top commenter. Uh, it was one of those things where my comments were more popular than the articles, so they like turned off all the comments. Well, we're going to go down to Birmingham and leave live comments. AL.com or nobody can stop people from commenting. That's my freedom of speech. So I'm about to go down there and uh, dunk on the uh, crappiest town in the best state in the world. Have you ever been there? Uh, no, I, I, I haven't. No. No, I never went to that trash hole. Okay. All right, let's go. Welcome to Sloss Furnaces. We've been walking around for a minute. Uh, what we found out is that I was right. It's no longer active. Uh, also, we learned that it was founded in 18 Who Gives a Crap? Um, apparently it was uh, the reason why the South was the world's largest producer of rust at some point. Uh, and then it closed and a lot of people lost their job and didn't know where they were going to get their tetanus from. Uh, I don't know. Supposedly it's haunted also, but I didn't see any ghosts, so kind of disappointed. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can find anything else that sucks less than this. Welcome to Birmingham's famous Morris Avenue, famous for its cobblestone streets, which are actually super dangerous for cars with poor suspension systems or people that don't walk very good. I mean, the only saving grace of this whole street is this train car, which is actually pretty cool. I'm a huge fan of trains, so it's kind of worth the risk, you know? Ooh, boiled peanuts. <laughs> So we're at Vulcan Park, and that's Vulcan. Apparently he created Sloss Furnaces, he's like built it from the ground up or something. And what's cool about him is that everyone pays attention to who he is, and he doesn't wear any pants. And 100%, that was me when I was like doing my comments on AL.com, I never wore any pants. It's super cool, it's a great park, it's beautiful, there's a gift shop. Also, they let you go up to the top, and you can see the whole city, and you guys know me, I love trains. And the city is just full of railroads. There's like tons of railroads around the whole city, and it's just I don't know. Pretty cool. Well, we should go to Railroad Park. Railroad what? Well, we're here at Railroad Park, and uh, you know, normally I'd have some zinger or something mean to say, but I mean, there's trains, there's a water feature, you know, people are having fun, safe, beautiful. I don't have one of my comments. I mean, if I had to say anything, I guess, I guess I'd say that I lied. Earlier at Sauce Furnace, I had a good time and it was really interesting to learn about the history of Rust. And I saw a ghost, 100%. And yeah, I just felt bad, you know, I'm just saying something mean because I could. I don't know, I don't, Birmingham's, it's great. The city's got it all, you know? I, you can't get any better than this. We should go down to City Walk. How do you know so much about Birmingham? I mean, I come down there all the time. It doesn't suck. I wish you would have told me sooner. I'm moving here. <laughs>